Hey, grade nine. So uh, we had uh, yesterday, we had a substitute in class and a uh, substitute teacher in class. And uh, so uh, you worked on chapters 14 and 15 uh, with her. And so that's awesome. Today we did 16 and 17. And so we're, we're almost done this novel actually, because there's only 23 ch uh, chapters in this novel. So we're almost done. Okay, so a reminder, we, uh, today we talked about the uh, paper that's due. We extended that to Friday. So we talked about time management. And so it's important that you manage your time at home. You are getting class time to work on your, uh, your assignments. You had all week pretty much uh, last week uh, with the laptops and everything to work on your papers. So now it's just get that rough draft uh, completed and then do your good draft. Okay, so get the good draft completed, submit it, and then you have, uh, I'll, I'll assess it, provide you some feedback, give you a chance to fix it up and get half your marks back. So you still have a chance to do very well on this paper if you're willing to take, take up the uh, opportunity to fix those, those errors up and, and then take a look at that feedback as well. So uh, we've extended the paper from the due date from September 30th to the end of the week, which is October 2nd, okay? So please uh, keep that in mind. Um, and our projects are still October 9th because Thanksgiving's the following weekend. So a uh, week this uh, Saturday, Sunday will be Thanksgiving. Don't forget Terry Fox. And we have our uh, donations for that for, to bring in tomorrow and your school fees too. Okay, so let's get into the uh, notes here. So we have chapter 16, and he, ju he just experienced the, the memory of war, and it was, it was traumatic. Uh, and you, don't, you can't blame him for that, because he hasn't experienced anything like that, that real that pain there. Now, th the big question will be whether or not is that all the pain that uh, one individual can experience. Um, but he didn't want that to go back and he wanted his childhood back. He wanted to go back to when things were normal, okay? But we know things are not normal in this society, uh, even though on the surface it may look like it, but it's not. Um, he, he does go back to the giver and, and he receives some uh, good memories. Uh, he learns about get grandparents and, then, and that uh, in, in the past, Grandparents were around and they were part of the family unit. In the world of sameness, they're no longer part of the family unit. They go to the house of the old and uh, they are basically forgotten. And that's a tragedy right there. Um, but that is the normal uh, way of things. Uh, you grow up, you have a spouse, and then you have, uh, you have the chance to request ch uh, children and you, you live, you know, you do your things with your own family and uh, pretty soon the, the family is separated. They're no longer united like they are uh, currently uh, the way things are set up. So keep that in mind. Uh, you know, family's important and especially our grandparents, they, they have uh, so much to offer the family. They have the, all that past, that history, um, they are the glue that keeps the family together. Um, so uh, if you have your grandparents still, cherish them. Cherish everybody in your family. Um, all citizens can go to the Hall of Records, find out who the real parents are, because uh, in this world, they don't know who the real parents are. Uh, they just know they're, they, they've been assigned to a mother and a father, okay? And uh, so then those two, uh, individuals care for the uh, uh, and deal with the upbringing of, of that child but the the real parent uh, you they don't know who it is unless they want to look for it nobody does for some reason um, Jonas asks his mother and father if they love him and of course they give him a, a puzzled look and they say love precision of language it's it's a it's no longer a word that they use do I admire you? Yes. Do I, do I, am I satisfied with the, your progress? Yes. So that's their form of love, but they can't say, I love you. And, and, and uh, the word love itself 
no longer has the meaning that we're, we're familiar with it. Uh, Jonas does not take his pill, and this will change things for Jonas forever. So if you want to put a foreshadowing uh, note, FS, uh, right beside that, because that's going to change the rest of this novel uh, of how he uh, um, absorbs the, the memories in that. Um, chapter 17. Well, only two points here. Uh, next day's uh, holiday and children are playing. Uh, and they're playing a game, good guys versus bad guys. And of course, the Jonas's memory of war, uh, the, all those memories flush, uh, rush back, sorry. And he's now realizing that the game that they played when they were children was not a very good game. And uh, he tries to articulate that with Asher and the others, but they don't understand. And Asher's upset that uh, he disturbed the uh, game. And Jonas tries to explain it to him, but Asher doesn't understand. And none of, none of these people will understand what Jonas is going through until they get the memories. But how are they going to get the memories? That's something we have to keep, uh, think about as we finish this novel. Uh, we're informed that the father is preparing to decide which of the twins will stay in um, the community and which one will be going elsewhere. And they'll base that on size, weight, and, and things like that. So we're going to get a... Uh, we're getting a heads up of what's going to be happening in chapter 19. So uh, just uh, stay tuned for that. Okay. All right. Next up is the questions. Uh, that's over here. So there. So this is chapter 13 to 15. Uh, these are the questions. So please press pause uh, so that you can get these questions and answer them uh, appropriately for chapter 13 to 15. Okay. Here are the words that you may have some challenges with, and uh, I'm not asking, I'm not assigning the words to, to be defined, but I am asking you to check out the meaning, and so you, you do understand what these words mean. Geraniums, sinuous, assimilated, electrode, invigorating, ominous, parched, and carnage. Okay, chapter 16, 17. I would press pause here uh, for the three questions here. And we talked about this in great detail in class. Um, so you should have, it's just a matter of uh, putting the, the answers to these questions uh, based on our class discussion. Okay. So there's the questions for chapters 13 to 17. And again, this is available in your course outline on page 50. Okay. So I'm hoping you're checking out the LibGuide. The course online is there. It's also available on Google Classroom. It's also available on on YouTube. Okay, so you and so three locations get all this information. So it's there. And um, unfortunately, I don't have a paper copy. So if you do need a paper copy, then please print out the appropriate pages. Otherwise, save it to your phone, bookmark it, so you can bring it up in class and, and go from there. Okay. Um, again, reminder, the paper has been uh, extended to the October 2nd and, uh, and October 9th is the research, or sorry, the project for uh, the giver. Okay, until tomorrow, have a good day and be safe.